Hey, what's up, you two? How you guys doing out there? What are you doing, buddy? You want to go inside? There's some water in there. That's what he wants. So, yeah, I hope, uh, hope everybody's doing good. We're doing good here at the house. Uh, it is another hot one, but yet yeah, it is a pretty one. Not hardly a cloud in the sky. That's uh, what we like. Uh, we're going to feed us some chickens real quick. We're going to talk to some chickens real quick. We're going to get some chickens some treats. And we're going to see how many eggs we got from the chickens. Uh, and as you can tell, they're getting a little feisty, so we're going to go ahead and feed them. Uh, I've already scooped out uh, right here my little uh, handy-dandy paint bucket from old Walmart. Uh, I got half layer pellets and half scratch grains. Uh, as you can see, the scratch grains are on the top. And they are hungry. They will follow me everywhere I go when I got food. So we're not going to lay them any longer. We're going to go ahead and get them some food. Golly, I don't know if y'all saw that. Chicken come out of nowhere. All right, let's see. Uh, let's grab a little piece of corn. Shush them away from the gate. Back up, chicken. Back up, chicken. Chickens. How are we doing today? Are we good? Are we hungry? I hate to pour it on them, like directly on top of the chicken, but they don't seem to mind. They they get it and they move out the way. What we got in here? So I've got a little bit of debris. We're going to dump that out. And there's pile number four. And then we're going to take our leftover. And we're going to put it in there in the bucket. Uh, they do have plenty of water. Got a little bit of grass in it. But I think that'll be all right. They uh, they eat grass. That'll be like a uh, little seaweed drink for them. They won't seem to mind. <coughs> Excuse me. Hmm. The allergies are getting to me. Chickens. How are we doing today? Are we doing good? Are we having a good day? It is a hot one, but it is a little bit cool. Cooler, I should say, here in the coop. Uh, this roof right here, it has definitely been a good investment. Um, if you knew the channel, this is three dog kennel roofs that I got at Tractor Supply. And what we're standing in right now is two dog kennels I hooked together. Uh, it is 10 foot by 30 foot. We got 20, hang on, let me think. We got 21 chickens. Yes, um, right there's one, two, three of the babies. And there's baby number four walking by. Uh, we did have a sale yesterday. Uh, the neighbor did come up and buy two of my chickens off of me. Uh, before it gets any hotter, let's go up here and let's get their treats. All right. See, I, I and I know I said we weren't going to give chicken treats every day, but if you watched me yesterday, you'll see that we got a bunch of watermelon left over, and I'm just trying to get rid of it so we don't have to throw it in the trash. Uh, let's go up here and get our watermelon. Oh, yeah, we also have a croissant. We also have a croissant and some watermelon. What about that? Let's go out here and get it to them. Look at that old watermelon sandwich we're going to give them. But yeah, like I was saying about the, the neighbors, they came up here yesterday. They bought two of the babies off of me. Uh, the gentleman, which I've lived beside him for seven, eight, nine years, something like that now. They just live right down the road from us. Uh, out here on the road, and then you go to the stop sign, cut right, and they're down there. But he asked me, he said, what do you want for them? And I told him the truth. I told him, I said, well, I've never sold a chicken so just whatever you think is fair he said well how about 20 bucks and i thought all right yeah that's fair i'll take it so we sold uh one of the or two of the babies for ten dollars a piece and i'm gonna see if we can get them away from the gate i'm gonna tear off a small piece of the old croissant we're gonna drop it in there i did drop a little piece of watermelon that's all right look at them go boys look at them look at that it's the chicken derby around here my goodness. Well, let's get in here and give them their watermelon before it gets hot and ain't no good. We're just going to go ahead and drop that on the ground. I'm going to put a little watermelon right here. Listen at him, boys. Listen at him. Winston. Did you get a treat from the air condition today? 
There's watermelon right behind you, buddy. He don't care about water. He wants that bread. He wants that bread. He likes that. You can tell. He makes his little racket. But no, I figured on a hot day, it'd be nice to have a, a cool treat. And I don't know too many people that don't enjoy fresh, cold watermelon on a hot day. So I know if I like it, they'll like it. Even the baby got him some right there. Got her some, I should say. I hope that's not a boy. I hope they're all females. Uh, only got room for one boss, one male. He's up there. Uh, yeah, we're gonna get some eggs today. So let's uh, let's go up here and get our egg carton. We'll see how many eggs we can gather up on this beautiful Thursday. Close that. I don't know if y'all hear him, but he's up there tearing it up in the sandbox. He likes that bread. They like that croissant. Of course, I like the croissant too. We got those from Sam's Club. Uh, and some chicken salad. We'd make chicken salad sandwiches with the croissant. It was really good, really good. Uh, but back to back to what you guys came for. You came to see chickens and the eggs and whatnot. Y'all don't really care about what we had to eat, so I'm not going to delay it any longer. I'm going to get me a sip of my beverage, just because it is hot. All right, get our eggs. Uh, this is an empty carton. You wanna come outside? You wanna come out here with me, buddy? Come on, hurry. All right, what do you smell? This smells like watermelon. He won't, he won't eat it, but he likes the smell of it. <coughs> Excuse me, <clears throat> no, I can't breathe today. All right, chickens, let me get by. You guys doing okay? Did you get, did all the watermelons disappeared. Yeah. Did y'all miss me today? Did Jens miss the food man? The watermelon gentleman? All right. So, I see Thelma in two and Winnie in one. So let's go ahead and open that up. See, I told y'all it's empty. Let's see what we can get here. All right, box number four. A little low on shavings, but it is not low on eggs. Uh, so we got a, a very light blue and a tan. Let's see what else we got here. We got a big old brown speckled one. Kind of see the speckles in that big brown one on the left. And we got one in right there. And then we got this one with the circle on it. Let me get over here and you know, probably see a little bit. There it is, the circle. I did that so we know which ones we're going to hatch. And we're going to give that to Thelma. That's supposed to be her egg. I push it down in there. She might try to clutch it. She's trying to wiggle around. Ain't much room in there, is there, girl? Uh, there is no eggs in box three. Uh, just shavings, but we are going to kind of fluff these up a little bit. Kind of like, you know, when you make your bed in the morning, it just sleeps better when it's been remade. And it's all nice and flat and even. I don't know if you can tell because it is really broad out here. Uh, Thelma, how about we do you last? We'll do you last. There's, there's Winnie. Yeah, Winnie's the Wyandotte, Colombian Wyandotte. She's a good chicken, good mama. We're going to lift you up real quick, girl. Let me turn you to your good side. Let's see what you got hiding in here. Uh, Winnie, you got more than five. You weren't supposed to have five. We're going to sit the phone down right there because I need both hands. Uh, like I always say, don't y'all be looking at my fat belly. Uh, it is well over 90 degrees out here. And believe you me, I am not going to wear a shirt if I don't have to. I'm home. I am doing my chores. Winnie, I need you to kind of shift over, old girl. I don't know why I got my gloves on. Winnie's not going to. Winnie's good, chick. We don't need our gloves for her. Plus, I can grab more without it. That has a circle, that has a circle, and that has a circle. This has no circle. What about this one in front? That has a circle. So he's only able to get one without a circle so far. Uh, there might be more in there. Uh, I can't really tell. I didn't want to hurt 
her or mess up the chickens. You gotta be careful when you're handling them. One, two, three, four, five. Winnie has all five of her eggs. We're gonna sit those back in there gently. We're gonna leave her alone. Uh, she's doing what she's supposed to be doing. We've bothered her enough. And we have a newcomer over here. So somebody just decided to show up over here in box four. You gonna give us an ego girl? Don't turn your butt. We don't want to see it come out now. We just want to see it after you get done. Nope, not yet. Okay. We're going to sit our phone back down. Got to get our gloves for Thelma. Mm. All right, Thelma. Whew. Here we go. Be easy with me now. How many you got underneath you? You have two eggs. I'm going to take them. I know. You're okay. You're okay. All right, so we ended up getting these two right here. Almost the same color, almost the same size. Uh, I think that's all we're going to get right now. And Thelma, just because I'm always mean to you, I'm sorry I'm mean to you. And if you guys have been watching faithfully, uh, Thelma was supposed to have two eggs, and Winnie was supposed to have six for a total of eight. Uh, we lost two of them somehow. But this one does have a circle on it. And just because I like Thelma, and I feel kind of sorry for her taking her eggs, we're going to give Thelma this egg. So Winnie's going to have four, and Thelma's going to have two. Let me get this glove off. A little tight. Spin the camera around. And this is not trick photography. This is uh, Americana egg. It came out of Winnie's box. We're going to give it to Thelma. Okay, Thelma, you sit on that egg. I give it to Thelma. All right, so today in the two egg boxes, well, actually, yeah, we got eggs out of here, one out of here, and I think we got one out of Winnie. So out of three egg boxes, three out of four, we will able, excuse me, I'll try again, able to get seven eggs. And these are the eggs that we got today. So a little bit shorter amount than what we got uh past couple days uh like i said it just depends on the weather you know if it's super hot chickens don't want to come out here and produce you know every every single hour uh sometimes they don't lay every day for the most part they do lay every day but sometimes they don't you know they can get overworked and and you know exhausted just like us but nonetheless we like our chickens we're happy with them uh if we only got one egg then we would be happy for it. we would be grateful uh we would be concerned while we're only getting one egg out of 23 chickens but 21 excuse me but uh we would nonetheless we would be happy and speaking of happy i am very grateful this morning i noticed i had two more subscribers that's awesome um i do appreciate it when you guys subscribe and i, I do read the comments believe it or not i do read all the comments i try to respond to everybody um, if I don't respond to you, it's not that I'm being rude, but I do try to give you a thumbs up to let you know that, Hey, I saw it. I acknowledged it. Um, I just sometimes you get kind of busy, but, uh, yeah, I, I do greatly appreciate you guys watching. Uh, as always do please like share and subscribe. Uh, it don't cost anything at all to subscribe. It just ensures that when you turn on YouTube, my videos pop up with the rest of your subscriptions. And in turn, that does help me. So, yeah, I'm going to go ahead and shut her down right here. Uh, me and little Prince over there, we are hot. We're going to go up here and sit underneath the ceiling fan. And, yeah, I think that will just about do it. Uh, thank you guys for watching. Hope you guys are doing super good. And I will see you all tomorrow. Thanks. See you later.